Welcome back to my channel. Today, we embark on an exploration of Dragon Boat Festival in Europe, a captivating journey that has taken me across the continents after my incredible years as an active paddler with Yorkshire Sharks in the UK. From local races to national competitions and international events, I have been fortunate to witness the unforgettable experiences this festival so offer. But before we dive into these races and vibrant celebrations, let's take a moment to delve into the rich history and cultural significance of this ancient festival. And allow me to share why the Dragon Boat Festival holds such a special place in my heart. The Dragon Boat Festival, also known as Duan Wu Festival, traces its origin back over 2,000 years to ancient China, rooted in both myth and history. This captivating festival commemorates the life and the sacrifice of a renowned poet and a statesman, Qu Yuan. Qu Yuan, a loyal minister in the Chu Kingdom, dedicated his life to serving his country. However, as his kingdom faced the turmoil and corruption, he found himself in a state of deep despair. Unable to bear witness to his homeland's decline, Chu Yuan expressed his anguish through poetry, using his powerful words to voice his concerns and the yearning for a better future. Tragically, Chu Yuan's pleas for change went unheeded, and in a final act of protest against the corruption regime, he plunged into the Milo River. The local villagers, who admired Chu Yuan's wisdom and patriotism, raced to save him. They paddled the boats, beating drums, splashing the water with owls to ward off evil spirits and prevent the fish from enduring his body. Moreover, Dragon Boat Festival in Europe serves as a platform for fundraising, supporting local charities, and making a positive impact on the communities they embrace. It's a beautiful testament to the power of sport in uniting people for a greater cause. Having grown up in Hunan, the birthplace of Dragon Boat Festival, I was already familiar with the Asian legend of Chu Yuan and the traditional practice of eating zongzi. However, it was joining the Yorkshire Sharks that opened my eyes to thriving Dragon Boat community in the UK and Europe. Led by our organizer John Gao, Yorkshire Sharks have played a significant role in promoting this incredible sport and its cultural heritage. John told us the Bradford Dragon Boat Festival is a fantastic event that brings together people from diverse backgrounds, including school children, college and university students, as well as local businesses. The festival embraces the heritage of dragon boat racing while fostering community spirit and raising funds for charitable causes. It's a wonderful celebration of teamwork, determination, and cultural exchange. So now let's hear from some of our teammates paddlers. Please share some of your experience being paddling around in Europe and all the world. <laughs> I am Sophie. I'm a paddler at Yorkshire Sharks, and I'm also helming for Team GB. Last year we went to the European Championships in Banyoles in Spain. It was amazing. We raced there for a week. We did 200, 500, 2,000 meters. Lots of European teams were around. Uh, it was like a big family reunion. Lots of people paddling. Together while racing, but it's a very good atmosphere. So paddling is fun. I did paddle in France. We did like 180 kilometers, like paddling in, on the Dordogne like river, and it was very nice. And we ended up in like in, in Bordeaux. It was a very great experience. Tiring, um, long, but very much enjoyed it. And yeah. I think it pushed our limits for like long distance paddling. I guess a bit of nerves, but I, I was ready to try something new. And the, the people here are, are really nice people, so they made it a really welcoming environment and I was, you know, immediately hooked on it. You were yeah. hooked, you were hooked. You signed up to the club. Yeah, you, I bought like, the you paddle. You bought the paddle. You said, right, that's it, come me down for Venice. Yeah. Oh, that was crazy. I was, I'd done two sessions. I got invited to the Chinese New Year party 
And yeah, then Sophie was yeah. like, do you want to come to Venice? Uh, yeah. uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> and now five months later, we've got a gold medal. It's remarkable how Dragon Boat Festivals bridge cultures and create lasting connections. Thank you so much for joining us today. And remember to subscribe to our channel to stay updated with our Dragon Boat adventures and so much more. Until then, paddle on and embrace the spirit of Dragon Boat Festival.